Hi everyone, welcome back to Warrior Wednesdays. I hope you've been having a wonderful week so far and is ready for another short sequence here um, that you can squeeze in whenever it's really um, accessible in your schedule. So this can be in the morning, it can be midday, or even um, something to do right before bed. So our theme today is going to be a bunch of seated postures. So all you need really is space to sit. You don't even need a mat. You can grab some space on a carpet, um, anywhere really on the floor. And we're going to start by really um, focusing on our breathing. And then we're going to do some nice gentle side twists um, and some bends and all that good stuff to just energize the body. And again, just to let go of our um, seated postures that we um, do a lot these days. So whenever you're ready, some seated options for you are sitting cross-legged. You don't have to have your foot up here, it's just comfortable for me. You can also have your foot down. You can also go down on your shins. And then when you're ready, I just want you to visualize any to-do list that you might have, you know, set out for the next day, um, for the day ahead of you anything like that, and I just want you to start to close your eyes envisioning this to-do list. And as you envision this to-do list, start to envision yourself putting this to-do list in a box and then walking out of your condo, your apartment, your office space, wherever you are, and just imagine yourself taking that box and placing it right outside the door. So we're just gonna put it away for uh, the next few moments together. And that's one of the hardest parts of, you know, working on breathing and postures is really just letting go of what we have going on, um, especially, you know, with work and anything else really in life. So when you're ready, hands are going to be placed on your heart. If that feels unnatural to you, you can also keep them down. Whichever one feels better. Start to close your eyes. Feeling your heartbeat, do a quick body scan and check in with yourself and see how you're feeling. Often in life, you know, we ask people, how are you? We check in with others, but this is a good reminder that's always really important to also check in with yourself and see how you're feeling. Start to inhale and exhale through your nose. This is called our Ujjayi breath, so our yogic way of breathing. Nice and audible sounds. So every time you breathe out, it's like you're fogging up an imaginary mirror in front of you. Breathing in and breathing out. Twice more. Last time here to set a great foundation for our practice, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Gently start to place your hands back down on your legs if they weren't already there, keeping your eyes closed. Something we will add to today's practice in our Warrior Wednesdays is setting an intention. So take a moment here, think of a word, maybe a passage, it can be really anything that's meaningful and special to you. Something to hold on to whenever you practice your breathing, your yoga, It'll help you stay motivated and it'll reinforce you staying down and grounded, even if you want to get up. Once you have that special word, slowly start to blink your eyes open. And then let's inhale the arms up towards the sky. The palms are going to connect. And then exhale, bring it down. So just activating the breathing twice more like that. Inhale, bring it all up. And bring it down. One more time, try not to hit things around you like I just did there. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bring it down. All right, let's start to get into some of those um, nice side twists to begin. So from here, let me just back up so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna take our right hand and we're gonna place it on our left knee. So right um, hand, left knee, left hand is gonna come behind you. And then from there, make sure you have a nice tall spine and add a gentle twist. So start to look behind the left shoulder. The breathing we are just practicing, hold on to that. 
Keep maintaining that. Slowly release, bringing it back through center. Take one cleansing breath here, hands go down. Big inhale through the nose and side of the mouth. Letting it go, add some shoulder rolls. Going back and then going forward. Time for the other side. So left hand this time is gonna be placed on the right knee. Right hand is gonna come behind you. And again, finding that twist, looking behind the right shoulder, focusing on your breath, holding on to your intention. Slowly bring it back through center. Another cleansing breath here, hands go down, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Let it go. Awesome. From here, we're going to place our left hand down, and we're just going to sweep that right arm up, finding a nice, gentle side bend. So this is the first option. If this is feeling too easy and you want to add some more depth, you can also bring your hands up, making a little tent. Or you can also come down to your forearms. So that's going to make it more intense. For me, that's not feeling great today, so I'm going to stay away from that. But if it feels good, you can hold on to that. Slowly come up, right hand goes down this time, left arm up towards the sky. So again, in these slower movements, try to stay present in your practice. If you feel like your mind is wandering, just gently start to bring it back. Again, taking the modification on this side, that feels good for you. And slowly come all the way back up through center. Let's add some more shoulder rolls. We don't do this enough on daily. And the other way. Good. From here, we're going to interlace our hands together. And we're just going to push everything out in front of us. So when you do this, I want you to round your back. And then gaze goes towards your lap here. Slowly inhale your arms up towards the sky. Nice tall spine. And then push it forward. So nice and dramatic movements here. Slowly coming up. And slowly coming down. Keep breathing. In through the nose. And out through the nose. Slowly come up. Find cactus arms. So from here, we're going to come into some twist. So just slowly start to turn towards the left side of the room. Slowly come up. Other side of the room, going to the right. Slowly bringing it back up, straightening out both of the arms, adding some circles here. Right arm goes across your body. Left arm is going to scoop up here. We're just going to hold. Fingers are nice and spread. Nice arm stretch. Let's do the other side. Left arm across, right arm over. Slowly start to on, um, sorry, uh, release. Hands go beside you here. And we're just going to take one more breathing exercise before we close off today. So this is called the four count breathing. So if the four is too hard, you can always try the three, but see how it feels. So again, coming back to some stillness, closing your eyes, we're gonna breathe in through our nose for a count of four. So again, if three is more suitable, stick with the three, and then we're gonna hold at the top, and then we're gonna exhale for a count of four. So let's try this out and see how it feels. My hands are going to go down. You can place your hands really wherever feels good. If you want to give yourself a hug, again, back on the heart, if that felt um, really energizing for you, or down on your knees. So closing your eyes, start to breathe in through the nose for one, two, three, four. One more breath at the top. And start to release for four, three, two, one. So that was our first round. 
um, you know, check in with yourself here. Remember, you can always modify the timing and adjust to what feels best in your body. That's our number one rule always in our practice. So let's do that one more time today. Breathing in through the nose for one, two, three, and four. Holding, hardest part. And release for four, three, two, one. Holding your hands on your heart or bringing your palms together, taking a moment to bow down to yourself, thanking yourself for dedicating 10 minutes out of your busy day to come and dedicate some time to your breathing, to shift your mental focus, and to do something great for your body overall. I hope you had a wonderful practice and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Hope to see you next week. Take care.